So I'd say on Wednesdays we wear pink, but it's not a Wednesday. Hey everybody. Today I am trying out the E Saint Laurent 300 eyeshadow quint, quint? Quad, quad. Been playing with Dior too much. I also have a comparison between the Giorgio Armani blushes in 10 and 11 and a new, to me, gloss to talk about. So let's go ahead and dive in. So it's in the 90s and humid and disgusting and if you've never watched my channel before, Hi, I'm Jennifer and I hate the heat. <laughs> I do not do well in anything above, I don't know, like 80. I, I did, uh, really, not, not good. And uh, although cool in our house, it's not, here in New England, we don't build our houses really to be super air conditioned because <laughs> at least in the past, we were more concerned about keeping in heat, you know, during the, the colder months. And it didn't used to get as hot. Now it's in the 90s quite often. And so the house cools down, but not like, not like the air conditioning you experience in, say, Dallas or Arizona or, or Las Vegas, where the air conditioner, like, it's freezing, like you could wear a coat. It's not like that. It's, it's cooler, but it's still humid and the air feels, like, thick, even inside. So, yeah, no jewelry. Uh, I'm wearing a t-shirt. <laughs> it's the best, best I could do. I cannot wait until September and October. The fall is my favorite time of year. So, other than that, let's talk about makeup. Uh, so, I'm wearing the E Saint Laurent, and I'm going to have a video go up. I put this on a little while ago. Babylon Roses in 400. This is what it looks like. And it's a cool toned, plummy, lavender quad. Um, if you haven't watched my channel before, uh, you will not know that I am not a huge fan of, like, purples, pinks. However, I do like plums and lavenders. They have more of, like, a grayish tone. This one definitely has that. Um, it reminds me of a number of different Dior uh, quints that I can think of and some um, Tom Ford. And it's very beautiful. And I can tell you right now that if you're somebody who likes a cool toned, lavender, plummy, you're gonna love it. You love that color story. The formula in these E. Saint Laurent's, I did the 100 Stella, Do Stella Dolls, is extremely good. Um, and I'll have the video go up while I'm talking about this. So you can see how I, I, how I did the look. But I think more importantly, again, if you like the color story, then you know, you're gonna like this color story. The Stella Dolls, as I've done um, swatch comparisons, is very much like Soft Cashmere and Bow Mask. Um, and I think has a little bit of like a Metal Lust kind of vibe to it. But what I would say about this formula in here, these are incredibly soft. I'm gonna swatch this for you um, on my hand. And it's, so soft that there is, there's an ease to putting this on the eye that I have to say I haven't encountered very often um, in a formula. They kind of remind me a little bit of the Tom Ford creme formulas in the sense that they just feel really soft and easy. And the application of these, it's just seamless. They they go on so easily and they just, they feel really comfortable on the eye. Now these two shades are similar. This is the one I put all over the eye. This is the one that I put on the inner corner. This is what I put in the crease and this is what I deepened it with and used as liner. There's not a huge difference between the light pink and the light lavender. They are similar, but what I would say is the light pink that's in here is more of a sparkle and this is more of a shimmer. So you have more like, sparkle to this one that you can put over it, but they are similar on the eye. That's the only thing I would say about this one. But it is a beautiful color story. It, it looks really, really good on the eye. I like this type of purple. The, like I said, the grayish purples, the lavender purples. The formula is, in my opinion, one of the better formulas that I have experienced. It reminds me of when Dior came out with their new formula three years ago and I was like, oh my goodness, this is so great. Super smooth, super soft. That's what this feels like. Some of the new Dior's feel like that and some of them don't. The new Bal Mask does not. It looks great on the eye. I, I love the way it looks, so I'm not saying that. But the feel of it, the old Dior's, three year ago Dior's, were super soft. And I think it was because of the aloe that was in there um, and the pine oil, it, it made it like soft to the touch. And that was soft on, on your eyelids. This has that same feel. It's that very soft feeling formula. And I, I'm i not sure what about it that's in here. Um, I, I don't know. Um, 
There is mica in here, just so you guys know. Um, there's a whole bunch of things in here that I don't really know what they are. Um, there is uh, Arabica seed oil, coffee seed. That's interesting. I wonder what that, wonder what that is. Um, yeah, there's a number of, there's a flower extract. There is a little bit of a scent to these. It's very light. I mean, very light. It's not, it's not a perfume. There's just like a little bit of something. I can't really explain what it is, but it's not a perfume in any way. And there's no perfume on the ingredients as far as I can tell. I don't see anything that says perfume. Um, so the mica, just be aware of it. There is talc in one of the shades at least because I see it on here. Just looking to see if there's anything else that I can call out. I don't see anything else that, uh, you know, is, is aware, that I'm aware of. Um, there's a sweet almond oil. Maybe that's what I smell. It's a sweet almond oil that's in here too. Again, I, I gotta tell you, like the, the feel of these are so soft. You can see it in the way they swatch because it goes on so smoothly. There's no patchiness to this at all. So I am very fond of the, the new formula from East Saint Laurent. I have at the moment three shades, the 300, which is in this video, the 100 that I did, I still have 400 to do for you guys. I think the formula is excellent. I have really enjoyed these. I think they're excellent. I think the formula is is akin to the Dior of three years ago, and I think all the shades are, are performing beautifully. What I would say though, of the two that I have, the 100 and now the 300, neither one of these color stories is, is in any way revolutionary. <laughs> these are shades you have. You have the Estella, Do Estella Dolls, like I showed you, it's similar to Soft Cashmere and now Bal Mask, it's, um, it's similar to many, many others. This one is a pinky lavender um, plum, and I think that in um, Dior, what's the one I'm trying to think of that's super popular? Tutu. Probably has a similar look, not the same, similar, and there's many others. Um, I'll start to go through my collection and see what I think uh, might be a good comparison to it, and certainly let me know which ones you'd like to see. Uh, I can post those over on Instagram. But if you're looking, you're talking about formula, the formula in here is excellent, smooth, goes on great. If I were to, to rank this with my ranking system right now, I would say these are buy it nows. I would say in the US, you can't buy them now unless you're getting them from overseas. So, but they're coming soon, or at least that's what I hear. So again, that's the 300, that's Babylon Roses. And it's a very plummy purple lavender but it's not like a pink or like bright purple. It's not that. It's got more of the plummy purple, which I think is really pretty. Okay, on the cheeks, I have uh, Giorgio Armani's 10 and 11. Can you tell the difference? There's a slight difference, but it's not much. Um, so I'm gonna put them on the back of my hand for you and I'll, I'll hold them up as well. There's very little difference between 10 and 11. Um, I, if I were to say, you know, first of all, the formula in these I think is excellent and I would definitely call these buy nows because I think they're great, uh, but they're not limited edition, at least as far as I know, and you should be able to get them in lots of places. So I don't think, I don't think that's an issue, but the formula I really, really love. So this is 11, this is 10. So 11 has a little bit more warmth to it, a little more peach, and 10 is a little bit more just pink. Here's 11, here's 10. <laughs> if you can really see like off the bat, if you knew when I opened up this video that I was wearing two different blushes, then good on you, but I gotta tell you, I think it's hard to tell the difference. They're very similar on the face. And even on the hand, they're not that different. So if you like something that's a little bit more pink, go with the go with the um, 10. And if you like something that has a little bit more peach, go with the 11. That would be my advice. Here is the 10, here is the 11. Like I said, there's not a lot of difference, guys. Very, very close. And they seem to have the same finish. So, you know, there's not, I don't see a discernible difference in the finish either. Last but not least, I want to mention what I have on my lips today. And this, <laughs> this is the Jimmy Choo 
lip gloss. And this is in Naked Rose, I think, or Rose, let me look up the actual name. And this is in Rose Blush. Now, these have been out for quite some time, and I decided not to get them because I was like, I do not need another gloss or another lip product. But I gotta say, these are really good. So this is Rose Blush. It's Nude Kiss. And then the last one I picked up was Orange Kiss. Now what I will say about these is there's a little bit of scent to them. Not a lot, but there's a little bit. And they are nice, thick, comfortable gloss. There is a little bit of a like tingling sensation that I had for a little while, and then it went away. Um, they feel great on. They look really beautiful, very plumping. I like the shades. And so if you can get them on sale, I would strongly recommend them. Um, I need to play around with them a little bit more before I rank them. Um, but they're, they're between it's good and a buy now uh, because they really, I really like this rose one. I've been wearing it for a while and I feel like it's very comfortable on the lips. It kind of reminds me of the Dior Maximizers, um, but glossier, I think, like plumper a little bit. Um, but yeah, I've been very impressed. So they, like I said, they've been around for a while. I was trying to not to get them because as I've said in many videos, I have enough makeup as it is. Um, but one of my friends swore by how good these were. So I was like, okay, I'll try them. They were on sale. And I have to say, I don't have a liner on. There's no liner. They went on beautifully. So I, I have to say that I am impressed. And, uh, like I said, I'll rank them later, but right now, I have to say I'm, I'm very happy with the with the way they look. So I'm gonna try. I'm gonna do the uh, orange one when I do the uh, YSL 400 because that one is a warmer. That's a Casba Spices. It's like a warmer look. So I'll pair it with that. But I have to say, pretty good look today. Even though I'm not like somebody who likes purples and pinks that much. This is like a really nice summer look i think so let me know your thoughts about um the 10 and 11 the armani whether you see a difference and again uh the east saint laurent hopefully they'll be here soon maybe maybe even when this video goes up and the jimmy chu gloss uh jimmy chu glosses be on the lookout for sales I, I think they are pricey i think they are expensive but i do i do really like them and again this is the rose the nude and the orange and uh the rose is a really nice like lavendery pink so thanks so much for joining me today, guys. I really do appreciate it. Hope to see you in another video really soon.